Social Security has within it not only provision for a pension program, but also life insurance, survivors' benefits, survivors' benefits, and uh, disability insurance. It helped me, for example, when I was totally disabled in 1958, when I had a massive heart attack. I had a cardiac arrest, actually. I retired from work at 59. That was in 19. And it's And uh, after that, I, I started getting this essential tremor. So it was really a good thing that I stopped. And that's when I started getting. I was 62 when I got Social Security. I started receiving Social Security survivor benefits when I was 14 um, because my dad died unexpectedly. My grandson Connor, who I said is, he'll be two December 9th of this year, and his father died um, two months after my daughter found out she was pregnant, and so he received survivor benefits. This is why all of the elderly people are champions of Social Security, because we knew what our parents went through when there was a death in the family of a wage earner. Nothing, nothing. I don't like being on the system at all. However, at this point where I'm at, I need it. I rely on it. The Social Security survivor benefits impacted my life in a huge way because um, it, in a practical sense, helped me survive at a really difficult time. For myself, if I didn't have, you know, even though I don't get a lot of money, I would be homeless right now. There are many, many circumstances under which a person, as, as hard as they may have worked in their life or as, as um, much as they might have saved, are still in a situation, you know, due to health or, or there are other reasons where they just cannot be fully financially responsible for themselves and have a reasonable life. You know, I'm 54, I didn't think I would be raising a toddler again. Some days I think he's aging me and other days I think he's keeping me young, you know. The only stable thing in our life has been Social Security. It has been totally dependable. Every single month that paycheck came, um, you know, every time there was supposed to be that age adjustment, it came. Part of the reason she's healthy is that she, she has a reasonable life. She's not stressed and, and, and terrified of losing what she has and so forth. She's comfortable, mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful for that. I know that without the Social Security benefits, I don't think I would have gone to college. What I'd like to do with it is put a bulk of it away for him for college. I don't think I probably would have gone to law school after that. Um, I don't think I probably would have traveled to Europe, which I was able to do, um, because I was able to save money through Social Security. We opened up our own checking accounts at the Lincoln Savings, you know, and um, I had my own passbook. It's really cool, you know, and you, you see every month, you know, your checks building towards your college, which was my, my goal. I could never have lived like I do if I hadn't gotten Social Security. She probably, we would be living together here um, in a one-bedroom apartment. Um, <laughs> This is about as much as I can manage financially, and it would be difficult because I have, I have clients coming here. So it would be very difficult. And as it is, we're independent and we like it that way, both of us. I don't think I would have been able to establish an independent life in the way that I did. I philosophically am opposed to um, political thinking that's taking us away from public investment and making it private. Um, 
for uh, for us to successfully <coughs> invest in in the the market, um, we would have to have someone hire someone to do it for us. It's just not a talent of mine. I have no confidence in that, and and I mom I think feels the same way. Um, I don't think that's uh, unique. I think there are a lot of people in that con position. It's like putting at risk everybody's retirement. I think that privatization will just throw it out the window. As we've seen in our country lately, you know, disasters, terrorism, things like that can dramatically affect the market. There have been depressions and there have been uh, decreases in the stock market, and you just don't know. It's not reliable. I did at one time have stock, and it's up and down. And sometimes it just never comes back, and the mountain is gone. It took until 1953 before the value of stocks reached what they had been before the crash. From 1929 to 1953. You know, providing that you're well and, and don't have accidents or acts of God happen to you, you're going to get old. I never expected to live this long. I'm 89. And neither is 85. She'll be 86 in January. And we're both going on 100. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to reaching 100. Really, no one can tell. As, as, as hard as they may work, as I said before, or as well as they may run their life, Finances are here and there, and uh, if you have some help and can look forward to that in your future, um, you can have a, a you can have a settled life. You can have some peace in your life, and that, as you grow older, gets more and more important. And that's that's my main reason for for feeling that's you know it has to stay as it is.